Hello everybody, this is Black Widow 7293 Today I want to do an unboxing. This is actually my first unboxing video. Uh, I could barely contain myself to open this package because I usually like to see what's inside it and see how well it was shipped and everything. Well, I got it today. This is an order that I made from Viper Vape. It is my hyper tank. I ordered it on the 3rd and I received it today on the 9th. So it's been six days. Not bad considering the storm that we had. It was processed in their factory for two days. Uh, I had spoke to one of their customer service reps. Well, I emailed one of their customer service reps, you know, asking them why hasn't this shipped yet. I ordered it two days ago and she had said, we had a lot of holiday stuff and a lot of back order stuff. So they're trying to catch up, understandable. So I told her that I was going to talk about how they treated me in the review. They were very, very professional. Uh, this was my first order from them, so that's what I was looking for. I was looking for quick responses in the emails, which did happen. I got two to three responses a day. Uh, I looked for how quickly they processed to ship it out. Uh, so overall, I would say Viper Vape, very good place to order your stuff from. Their prices are really cheap. I looked around for prices on the Hyper Tank, and theirs seemed to be the best. I want to say I got it for like $17. stuff is good by the way. This is uh, very creamy, Mount Baker Vapor, awesome flavored stuff. So, let's open this up and see what they sent with it. Uh, I don't think they send out any gifts or anything like that. Uh, I did get an invoice which I have pulled out already. I received a Viper Vape Premium Vaping Supply Card. Comes with a coupon discount code probably use that again because I'll be ordering from them again nothing else so here's the hyper tank I'm gonna try to get this to focus and not be blurry my camera's been being a little ignorant at times uh, the front of it you just got your picture you got your extra coil right there um, on the back it has the uh, introduction assembly how to use it, quick start guide, the whole deal. This is a very big tank by the way, it's five milliliters. Uh, so if you're an all day vapor, uh, you know, you, you like to heavy vape, you want one tank, you don't have to fill more, this is a perfect tank for you. Uh, I got mine in the bronze, which is checked on the side. So let's get this box open. And that, you hear, is the very ignorant train driver that's going by right now. They do that all times of the day, especially two, three o'clock in the morning. It drives you nuts. So, since the train is done blowing the horn, let's get the packaging off, get this open and see what we got. Very good packaging, by the way. Uh, it was uh, it shipped, it had no damage to the box, all the corners are pointed like they started. So I'm going to set that piece down. See what else we got in here. Forgive me if I'm not keeping all this on camera, I'm really not used to doing unboxing videos. I'm also not familiar with where to position the camera for these, so I'm going to try a couple different angles, see what works best. Uh, this is your Hypertank Glassomizer, thank you for choosing, congratulations, blah blah blah. Uh, it says uh, has a suitable voltage for different resistances, which is actually pretty useful because I tend to be a noob with voltage. So it has your resistance and it tells you the recommended voltage for it, which is kind of a neat little thing to have. Uh, if anyone's interested, if this camera can't focus in on it, then I will send them a message telling them any of that. Uh, the front of it is your refill instructions. Uh, it kind of shows you all the pictures and the steps to do it to refill it so this is what it looks like I haven't taken out of the packaging yet comes with one extra coil which is very nice because uh, you really don't go through these too quick but I mean if it dies on you you don't have an extra one sitting around it makes things a little difficult okay let's get this thing open and see what we got inside 
it's very heavy too by the way real heavy tank you, you can tell it's made well hold that thought okay so this is the hyper tank got 5 ton threading right on the bottom you can see it's a bottom fed coil from the looks of it they, the coils look almost identical to my pro tanks so uh, if you have a pro tank the coils look very similar I would not be surprised if it was the same coil uh, maybe the shaft on the top is a little bit longer but that's your coil it's double wick uh, dual coil bottom fed the only thing you have to watch out with these is that you, when you reseat them, you make sure that the seals actually seat right. If not, you have one heck of a mess on your hands for your uh, your mod or your battery, whatever you're using. This is the inside. As you can tell, it's a pretty big tank, actually. It's got the shaft all the way up through. Let me see how far I can take this apart. It does have removable drip tip. So if you like your custom drip tips, I actually currently don't have any right now. So it's got a straight straight one right there. And from the looks of it, this is as far as this comes apart. So the it's Pyrex glass, by the way, with a, a bronze metal finish around the outside. The glass is actually glued right into the metal, so you are not going to take it apart any farther than this. But I'm guessing uh, as much room as inside that, you actually have a lot of room to get down in there. Like a Q-tip or something and clean it if need be. Man, that sits in there nice. Let's see how this looks on AI Noken iTaste 3.0. I've currently only seen these in reviews. I've never actually seen one of these in person, so it's really really neat. Uh, it looks a lot bigger in person than it does in the reviews. But that sits on there very nice. It looks really big compared to the Anoka though. I'll probably use this on my uh, MVP just because it's real top heavy and I wouldn't want to break it or have the fall over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go fill this up. I'm going to let it get the wick right full. Probably wait like 10-15 minutes. And then I will come back and we will continue this video and we'll see how it vapes. Thank you.